What an unprecedented school year we just had. Hello, I'm Dr. Judy Miner, the Director of Student Excellence for the Americas at the Department of Defense Education Activity, or DODEA. For most educators, last year was the toughest year many of us will ever face in our careers. We overcame innumerable challenges resulting from a worldwide pandemic, and through it all, we kept our students at the heart of everything we did. As we begin a new school year, I wanted to take a moment to provide a snapshot of our schools in the Americas. There are 50 schools in the Americas region, spanning 16 different installations. We educate nearly 19,000 students with the support of about 2,400 teachers, support staff, and educational aides. Per our mission, RDOD Americas graduates are ready to succeed in a dynamic world. Last year, we graduated 415 students. About 314 of those students are now headed to college with an impressive $10.1 million in scholarships to support them on this journey. Our students score above their peers nationally on standardized tests and we have some of the smallest achievement gaps in the nation. Our work for excellence in education is driven by DODIA's blueprint for continuous improvement. This blueprint serves as the foundation for planning within DODIA, directs our collective energies and resources, and is adjusted as progress is made and the environment shifts. Our DODIA vision is for excellence in education for every student, every day, everywhere. The COVID pandemic tested us, but we didn't let it hamper our efforts toward that vision of excellence. The scope of the pandemic's impact was most felt in the Americas, with a greater number of COVID cases in our schools as compared to those in Europe or the Pacific. The pandemic required educators worldwide to shift from in-person learning to learning in a remote environment. Our teachers needed new skills, techniques, and knowledge. Thanks to the just-in-time and ongoing training from the America's Center for Instructional Leadership Coaches, our educators quickly became well-versed in how to develop collaborative workspaces, to conduct group assignments, and to use interactive dashboards. Teachers integrated these new approaches to master asynchronous and synchronous teaching and learning in a virtual environment. We also kept our students safe and healthy. For example, we provided our students with four million meals last year through bus brigades, in-person pickups, and eventually in our cafeterias. We opened new state-of-the-art schools at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, West Point, New York, and Fort Rucker, Alabama. We also didn't let the pandemic slow our pursuit of organizational excellence. We developed a series of goals and strategies to support DODIA's blueprint. The result is the America's Regional Continuous Improvement Plan, which features three goals and seven focus areas. We are using this plan to be intentional about how we advance continuous improvement in teaching and learning systemically and systematically across our region. We were also sensitive to how the shifts in learning from virtual to in-person could impact a student's ability to learn at the same pace as compared to previous years. ODEA Americas approached this challenge with the launch of its innovative Summer Academic Skills Program. It targeted students currently not meeting standards in literacy and mathematics as determined by DODIA's assessments. As we look back at last year and into tomorrow, I wanted to take a moment to thank you for everything you do and continue to do to promote learning and support our schools. Our children need the support, not just of teachers, but also of parents, of their communities, and of leaders like you. Whether it's getting the new school year off to a great new start, or having soldiers take time to have breakfast with students, 
or celebrating special holidays with our school communities, or leading an end of the year scavenger hunt. Our partnerships with you enrich the lives of our students and make our military families stronger. I know everyone is eager for a more normal start to the 21-22 school year. As we approach this shift with an abundance of caution, DODIA will continue to monitor the latest COVID data and health protection conditions and be sure to keep you well informed. But for now, we're looking forward to seeing our kids play football and do all the fun things we missed seeing last school year. As always, thank you for your continued support. It takes all of us working together to support our military children and families to advance excellence in education for every student, every day, everywhere. Thank you.